I've uh, found another old girl to save. Drag back home. Do uh, who knows what with. Work that out later. Uh, so this one is a Alice Chalmers HD10. I don't know much about these machines at all. It's got a 471 GM two-stroke diesel in it. I've uh, never had anything to do with a uh, two-stroke diesel either, so that'll be uh, interesting. Um, don't know too much history about it, but the, uh, the old bloke I bought it off, uh, I think he's going to look back through some notes and see what he can find out, but I think it's been uh, in the area for some time and mainly used as a, uh, a logging dozer by the looks of it. Uh, it's pretty worn out. Don't know what year it is. Uh, the winch setup on the back seems to be covering where the serial number would be. Uh, but I'm guessing late 40s or early mid 50s. But uh, it's only a bit of a guess. Most things seem to be around the uh, late 40s or 50s I find. Um, it was apparently driven to this exact location 10 years ago. I believe the bloke that I bought it off bought it and uh, never really did anything with it. Maybe drove it around the paddock and parked it up here because apparently one of the uh, pins in the uh, tracks is uh, just replaced with a standard bolt so they didn't want to drive it too far. Uh, seems to have a bit of an interesting uh, setup with a bit of a homemade blade setup and uh, the winch and stuff on the back I'll show you but I think the CPU unit but the blade control looks to be cobbled up out of uh, bits and pieces from a Latorne, I think that's how you pronounce it, setup, which looks to be more similar to a 1940s Caterpillar style. It's all been cut up to suit this and looks like it's broken a number of times and butchered together and all that fun stuff that happens. Uh, phone zooms in quite a lot when I'm recording so try and get around all this stuff show you some more of it uh, as you can see it's got a uh, logging winch on the back here and the Latorno CPU unit there just seems to be driven out of the top of whatever's running the winch in here and uh, you can see the support system over the top of the roof and uh, go around the other side get there not much to them so the motor is free by the fan but I'll pull some things off before I I'm trying to turn it too much further than that, but the uh, it's all been covered. Well, I don't know if you see, there's a lot of stuff being blown up in there. The intake seemed to be pretty well covered. I did take the rock cover off, looks brand new under there. Uh, I've really played around to see if the uh, the rack moves for the injectors, apparently, that's something that can uh, stick on them. Uh, we're getting the operators controls here. I don't know much about the controls but there's not too much to them so uh, I've got emergency shut off or shut off. I don't know if they shut off by zero throttle or not but your throttle. Steering clutches, steering brakes, they're frozen. Main clutch, that seems to be free. 
I'm assuming main gearbox and then auxiliary or PDO, whatever they call it, for engaging the stuff on the back. I talked to one of the sons, and he remembers something about playing around with the clutches. Maybe they weren't working too well when they got them, but I guess 10 years ago people don't remember everything. No seats, no idea where the covers are. That's no great hassle though. He did say that they didn't use the fuel tank because apparently it was rusted out on the down the bottom there. But again, that's easy enough. To be gear cleaners underneath. Not much to your dash panel. I'm assuming uh, light switches. I guess some of these add lights. Uh, undercarriage is uh, not too amazing, but you're not going to be doing any great deal of work if it uh, gets running again. I think maybe the frame rail, track rail, a bit twisted. Front idlers look pretty low. I'd... The old bloke mentioned something about uh, the track pads or the whole chains and track pads off something else and you can sort of see someone's cut them down with an oxy on both sides I think it's a bit hard to tell doesn't look like they've been wearing or anything it looks like someone's actually cut them down rear sprocket looks assumably Alice Chalmers but uh, who knows uh, this is the logging winch setup. Assuming we've got brake here. I don't know if there's a clutch to run this. It appears to be, I don't know if it'll come up here, but uh, from what I can make out, it's Armstrong Holland. Again, I don't know anything about them. It seems to be bolted to the back of the main gear case there, somewhat factory-ish looking, but it does have this whole extra plate on the back. And then clearly these top mounts have been made up. So I don't even know if this winch is meant to be on this tractor or not. And then the cable control unit. I was looking at a D7 just earlier, 1944. And it seems to have the exact same control unit, but uh, running this way. This one's been turned around and it's all clearly pieced together out of uh, bits and pieces. So it seems like, again, I don't. I guess you just engage the auxiliary shaft and then the winch is running and then it looks like maybe this one here is then for your cable control unit whether you're running that or not or maybe this is for the winch not 100% sure but I can't see down in there there's too much uh, filth in there but it seems to drive out of the top of the winch through this shaft, then uh, gear reduction, and then into the cable control unit. And then the winch is running down this other shaft. Gear reduction out of this one, across to here, into the uh, winch drum itself, which the teeth are just absolutely peeled over. I think you can just, yeah, you can see that. They're just laying over. I don't know if it's uh, been misaligned or just worked really hard in its life, but potentially both. You can see someone's just gas axed their way into there, fix some things. Um, yeah, blade setup looks somewhat homemade out of something. I guess a bit of the all exciting 
GM two strokes that everyone seems to crave. Uh, so 471. Mm, where's the plate? Here we go. Just see it. Four cylinder. I think 71 is the cubic capacity of each cylinder. So whatever 71 is times four. Mass is not my strong point, but I'm sure we can work that out. Uh, I was just playing around today and freed most of these levers up. Got uh, throttle linkages into your governor setup. Not sure exactly what this one's doing. I think this is acting on the governor. And you got another rod that goes in here and runs the the rack, and it's got uh, individual injectors that are driven off the camshaft for the uh, the pumping element side of it. Uh, you can see the emergency shut off down in here. Just pulls a uh, flap in there and chokes the air. Yeah, it looks like the blade is just been scraping. So I'll have to uh, move the radiator out of Ford before we try doing too much. Uh, just cleaned a heap of crud off the top of the blower there. Just sprayed it with stuff. This thing zooms in way too far. Anyway, the uh, yeah. Do some work on it later and see what we can make happen. So it looks like the blades had a uh, tree spear and then something else on it. Some more bits and pieces laying over the side here. So we've got some panels right underneath and on top. I think that's a brake lever for the uh, winch. Now, something interesting over here. So we've got tree spear. Go back a bit further where tree spears here, and that's uh, maybe not too exciting for anyone, but uh, that's been gas axed off the front of here. And then these sections here seem to be where all right, these ones here attached and they are long and potentially been sticking out quite wide I've got no idea what they've been used for it would be interesting they seem to have these mounting points for something on the end it would be interesting to mock them back up and see what uh, I can work out there now the interesting part I've just discovered which may see this uh, panel just here that made the uh, the end of the tree spear out of or tree pusher whatever you want to call it now I'm no expert but it is ridiculously thick and that looks like a armor plated hatch of some sort of tank to me now I've got a few mates that are in the tank so I'll have to uh, send them some photos but this looks like a vision slit I don't know, maybe this was a lock when you uh, swing it up. You can't really see, but underneath here, there is hinge points. I'm not sure why these are welded on there, but... It is some thick plate. And the way it is cast... Kind of suggests that it was a... Uh, a door off some sort of armoured vehicle. So that'd be uh, interesting to try and find out. Uh... Also, if I can go back far enough that uh, maybe the bloke that made bits and pieces out of that had uh, dozers built out of surplus tanks or two. You never know. Just keep asking questions and meeting people and find out all kinds of interesting stuff. Um, oh, that's not raving on. Do some work before the rain comes. And, uh, the, uh, 
seeing it when I get it running. Right up. 